Hey guys, we're back here uh, down at the press centre with uh, just uh, a bit of an update with regards to the disqualification of the Netherlands and Joost de Klein uh, here from the grand final at Eurovision 2022. So Clara, uh, Avratos have released, uh, earlier they released uh, a, a very short statement uh, on their uh, Instagram, I believe. Uh, they've now come back uh, with a full statement. So Clara, I'm going to, you read them out so beautifully, so I'm going to get you to read this one out too. An incident occurred after last Thursday's performance. Against clearly made agreements, Jost was filmed when he had just gotten off the stage and had to rush to the green room. At that moment, Jost repeatedly indicated that he did not want to be filmed. This wasn't respected. This led to a threatening moment movement, sorry. This led to a threatening movement from Jost towards the camera. Jost did not touch the camera woman. This incident was reported, followed by an investigation by the EBU and police. Yesterday and today, we consulted extensively with the EBU and proposed several solutions. Nevertheless, the EBU has still decided to disqualify Joost Stein. Avrotros finds this penalty very heavy and disproportionate. We stand for good manners. Let there be no misunderstanding about that. But in our view, an exclusion order is not proportional to this incident. We are very disappointed and upset for the millions of fans who were so excited for tonight. What Joe's brought to the Netherlands and Europe shouldn't have ended this way. Mm -hmm. So what we haven't got from that statement is anything about appealing the decision. It sounds pretty final, mm -hmm. does it to you? It does sound pretty final. It also, we are um, almost three hours before to the show. So um, it would be a little rushed to fit in. But I mean, the performance is there. So I think it would be still be a little rushed to put him in last minute especially also the graphics have already been changed uh, so yeah I think this would be it for the for Europapa so far yeah I agree with you I mean it is too late now uh, to lo I'm sure they have lodged a, a, an appeal behind closed doors but obviously it's so late in the day uh, for that to be realized we've watched uh, we've just watched uh, a full run through of the um, uh, of the family show so the the last full rehearsal uh, before the grand final tonight obviously the scoreboard now only features 25 countries etc etc so I'd have to change those graphics again I think it would be far uh, too late in the day and you know if, if I was an artist artist uh, after kind of all this drama um, is he would he be in the right mind anyway uh, if if the decision was to be changed would he be in the right mind to perform uh, regardless but I'm sure there's going to be many 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 conversations about this uh, in the coming days but uh, as with uh, as with kind of any statement I think it's important that both sides get to put their point across obviously Avratos has done that on Avratros sorry has done that on behalf of uh, of, of the Dutch uh, delegation so if we get any more news we're not really expecting much more news on this story now uh, Avratros have been pretty open uh, as to how they can recall uh, the incident. Um, so we're not expecting any more. So hopefully no more drama today. And now we can all enjoy uh, the grand final of Eurovision 2024 and find out where we're heading next year. But before we wrap up, Clara, any, uh, any predictions on the winner? Croatia. There you go. I think I'm going to say Croatia too. Actually, maybe we're going to be heading to Zagreb. Uh, but guys, uh, if there is anything else, we will come back to you. Uh, but otherwise, enjoy the final.